Pi Core team reminds pioneers of Pi Network impersonation scams. Hello to the pioneer community of the Pi Network daily. As the open mainnet approaches, various types of scams are becoming more diverse. In the previous video, we explored tactics used to steal Pi wallets, often targeting new users who are not tech savvy. However, there is another equally complex and hard to detect category, impersonating the Pi Core team. Using sophisticated methods, scammers have infiltrated the community, posing as the Pi Core team to spread fraudulent information. Recently, the official Pi Network website published an article guiding the community on this issue. Given the importance of Pi Coin and the severity of these impersonation scams, today's video will analyze the article published by the Pi Core team. Let's continue watching. The Pi Core team article is titled Beware of local unaffiliated and unauthorized activities. As we move closer to the open network, it is crucial for pioneers to protect their Pi accounts and be vigilant against potential bad actors and fraudulent activities. In the past year, the Pi Core team has been informed by Pi Chat moderators and pioneers that many individuals and entities with no affiliation or authorization have been using the Pi network name. In some cases, these activities involve fraudulent events and actions designed to deceive users by misappropriating and illegally using Pi's name and trademarks. Additionally, these activities are illegal and predatory, harming Pi network users and negatively impacting Pi's reputation and operations. Such activities include, but are not limited to the following, publishing false information and disseminating fake news about Pi, violating the trademark rights of Pi network, unlawful impersonation of and or unauthorized use of likeness of Pi founders for the purpose of organizing illegal local activities for the purpose of fraudulently taking advantage of and deceiving pioneers and the general public for the purpose of deriving a profit from such activities through membership fees and sales of products etc. Dissemination of baseless rumors, slander and attacks against Pi to cause serious and irreparable harm to the reputation of the Pi, this project, and the local community. In the ongoing effort to protect users, the Pi name, and its trademarks, the Pi Core team would like to clarify the following key points for the general public. The Pi Core team has never authorized any person or organization to take any of the above actions. Pi, Pi Core Team, and Pi Founders have no affiliation whatsoever with any parties engaging in such activities. All such activities and actions are unauthorized by Pi, and you should refrain from engaging in any of these types of activities. Pioneers and the general public are advised that all activities not officially described and promoted on Pi Network's website, apps, or official social media channels are unauthorized and you should beware of participating in such activities as they are fraudulent activities which may cause you or other participants to suffer harm. It is also important to note that a distinguishing factor for Pi authorized activities is that true Pi authorized activities and associated persons will not ask you for money. Should you decide to participate in the unauthorized activities described above, you do so at your own risk. Since the beginning of Pi, our core principle has been that Pi requires no fiat currency on-ramp and is accessible for everyone to participate in and mine. There has never been any collection of money or any requirement for users to buy in, in order to participate. Likewise, Pi does not charge any fees or require users to purchase items from Pi or others to participate in Pi. It has always been the case that participation in Pi is completely voluntary without any coercion and without any financial cost to its users. We continue to investigate these incidents, and we reserve the right to take any and all legal actions available against those parties organizing these unauthorized and illegal activities to protect Pi and its reputation. The above is the full text of the Pi Core team's post on the website. It is clear that the recent fraudulent event organizing activities have reached the Pi Core team's attention, and they strongly oppose these activities. The community should be wary of events like the GCV 314K consensus. Additionally, exploiting Nicholas images or creating fake images of the Pi Core team is legally prohibited. More sophisticated methods include impersonating the Pi Core team to write GitHub codes and publish them to lure unsuspecting pioneers. We will continue to provide more in-depth analyses on this issue in future videos. For now, today's video comes to an end. CryptoLeak VN is delighted to accompany you and explore the Pi network over the past time. Thank you to the community for trusting and supporting the channel. When looking for continuously updated information about Pi network, you can join the CryptoLeak VN Facebook group. We share a lot of quick news about Pi network and trading signals on these social networks. 
The participation link will be right below the video description. If you find the video useful, please support us by liking and subscribing to the CryptoLeap VN channel to receive the latest notifications about the Pi Network. Goodbye and see you in the next segments.